If you think you may need your wisdom teeth removed, then please watch this short video so you can understand exactly why and how it's done. I'm Dave Norcross, head dentist here at Perth Dental Implant Centre, and we get asked a lot of questions about wisdom teeth. Do they really need to be removed? How do we get them out? And why do we even have them? At our two locations here in East Victoria Park and Kelmscott, we offer a variety of options if you need to have your wisdom teeth removed. But firstly, what are wisdom teeth? Wisdom teeth are basically your third molar teeth. They were given the name wisdom teeth because in most people they start to come through in your late teens or early 20s when you're supposedly becoming wiser. So why would it be that we needed to remove your wisdom teeth? In many people, there's just not enough room for them to come through. This means that they're difficult and sometimes impossible to keep clean. Often the gums over the top of the wisdom teeth can become badly inflamed and sometimes infected, which can be very painful. This can also result in the wisdom teeth or the teeth around them becoming decayed and damaged. It's also possible that they can cause pressure on the other teeth, causing them to move, so a lot of orthodontists will recommend that they're removed before or after having braces. So if we don't need them, then why do we even have them? The truth is, we're really not that sure. One theory is that the modern diet is much softer than it used to be, and as a result, we do not have to chew our food as hard. Therefore, our mouths have gradually gotten smaller. However, most people still get the same amount of teeth, including the wisdom teeth, so there's often not enough room for them to come through. We're even finding some people that don't have wisdom teeth at all, and perhaps this is a sign that we may eventually evolve to not have them, but for now, many people still get them and may need to have them removed. Do you really need to have them removed? This is a question we get asked a lot. Each person's wisdom teeth are quite different and can appear in many different positions. It may be that the wisdom teeth are buried so far under the gum that they will never cause any issue. Or it may be that you have enough room for them to come through, you're able to keep them clean, and like this patient, you don't need to have them removed. The best way to find out is to have a dental examination and a full mouth x-ray so that we can check the position of your wisdom teeth. Click on the link below or send us a message if you'd like to arrange a consultation so we can discuss this. Unfortunately for a lot of people, the wisdom teeth may eventually cause issues such as this patient here. Here, the impacted wisdom tooth has caused decay in the back of the molar in front of the wisdom tooth and this decay is then extended into the nerve. This has resulted in the tooth needing a root canal treatment and it's something that could have been prevented if the wisdom tooth had been removed earlier. So when ideally should you have them removed? There are lots of different opinions on this. For example, in the UK where I trained, most dentists leave them until a patient has had an infection or there is damage to the surrounding teeth. Here in Australia, we tend to take a much more proactive approach and advise having them removed before they cause any issues. But ultimately, it's the choice of the patient. A lot of people also ask, what is the ideal age to have them removed? This varies with each person. As a rough guide, it can be anywhere between the age of 15 and 25, but sometimes older. After this, it can be a little bit more difficult to remove the teeth as the bone around them gets harder and it can then require a little bit more surgery and the risk of complications can be slightly higher. So ideally, we like to remove them before they start causing problems so it's easy and more straightforward. And also so we can plan a suitable time for the patient that doesn't interfere with life events such as exams or work commitments. So how do we remove them? Many wisdom teeth will require some form of surgery to remove them and at our practices in East Victoria Park in Kelmscott we offer a number of different options for this. If the procedure is straightforward and the patient is not anxious we may be able to remove them by numbing the patient with local anaesthetic in the dental chair or for more difficult cases or those that are anxious about dental treatment we can arrange IV sedation which is sometimes called sleep dentistry or twilight to be administered by a doctor and the procedure can be performed in the dental chair. We also have a regular list at South Bank Day Surgery in South Perth where this can be performed under general anaesthetic with a specialist anaesthetist. This is often the preferred choice for our patients. We have two dedicated teams at both our East Victoria Park and Kelmscott locations and they can assist in helping you organise the removal of your wisdom teeth. So click on the link below, send us a message or give us a call if you'd like to find out more. Thanks for watching and we look forward to speaking to you.